Hi, my name is Rodney Laporte, and welcome to another edition of Rodney Song Break. Yay! Today we're going to talk about songs that have uh, lots of words in them, or words that go by fairly quickly. Uh, I just thought it was a good idea, and uh, I like the songs, and they provide a little bit of a challenge maybe to sing. The first song that I want to do is uh, one by Bob Dylan called Subterranean Homesick Blues. It's a song that he recorded in January of 65. It became his first top 40 hit in the United States and it hit number 10 in the UK. Um, it's, a, it's a song that was, the, the title was inspired by Jack Kerouac, the beat poet from the 50s who had written a book called The Subterraneans. And uh, it's a song that's, um, that's about the, the counterculture of the 60s. In fact, Dylan uh, won a Nobel Prize for Literature and I think one of the reasons he won the prize was because of his uh, ability to to uh, analyze and 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 to uh, explain the, all the dynamics of the of the 60s, and uh, this song certainly does that. And as I say, it's from a countercultural perspective. So it's kind of a pro-drug, anti-Vietnam, anti-cop, anti-establishment, pro-civil rights kind of song. And uh, it's come the perspective of someone from this uh, political viewpoint giving advice to someone. And uh, during the 60s, for example, there was all kinds of protests, and sometimes water cannon was used on on uh, protesters, um, uh, sometimes peaceful protesters, and Dylan gives the advice, better stay away from those that carry around a fire hose. And uh, being an anti-establishment, he puts in the line, uh, uh, right from top to bottom, it's, 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 it's right. He puts it really, really great when he says, don't follow leaders, watch the parking meters, right? I like that line. And, they, and he also, people having struggling with life, uh, you know, we, we work really hard and it's hard to get ahead and he puts a line in there, 20 years of school and then they put you on the day shift. Uh, or giving advice about, look out kids, you're going to get hit by losers, cheaters, six-time users. A 2007 study found, I don't know why they did the study, but found that Dylan was the most quoted poet amongst judges and lawyers. And the most quoted line was from this song called, You Don't Need a Weatherman to Know Which Way the Wind Blows. That's the line of the song. Uh, this song is called Subterranean Homesick Blues. Johnny's in the basement, mixing up the medicine. I'm on the pavement, thinking about the government. Man in the trench coat, badge out, laid off. Says he's got a bad cough, wants to get it paid off. Look out, kid, something you did. God knows when, but you're doing it again. You better jump down the alleyway looking for a new friend. The man in the cool skin cap and the pig pen wants eleven dollar bills. You only got ten. Oh, Maggie, complete foot, face full of black soot, talking that the heat put plants in the bed, but the phone's tapped anyway. Maggie says that many say they must bust an early May. Orders from the DA, look out, kid, no matter what you did, better walk on your tiptoes, don't try no toes, better keep away from those who care around a fire hose. Keep a clean nose and watch the plane close, you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. Oh, get sick, get well, hang around the inkwell, ring a bell, hard to tell if anything is gonna sell. Try hard, get barred, get back, right braille, get jailed, jump bail, join the army if you fail. Luck out, kid, you're gonna get hit by losers, cheaters, six-time users, hanging by the feeders, girls by the whirlpool, looking for a new fool. Don't follow leaders, watch the pocket meters. Oh, get born, keep warm, short pants, romance, learn to dance, get dressed, get blessed, and try to be a success. Please her, please him, buy gifts, don't steal, don't live. Twenty years of school and then they put you on the day shift. Look out, kid, they got it all hit. Better jump down a manhole, light yourself a candle. Don't wear sandals and try to avoid scandals. Don't want to be a bum, you better chew gum. The pump don't work cause the battle's took the handle. All right, um, 1959, a fellow from Australia named Jeff Mack wrote a song called I've Been Everywhere, and it's very popular in Australia, and really what it was was just a list of towns and villages and locations in Australia. 
The publishers uh, offered it to Hank Snow, who initially turned it down because he said uh, North Americans wouldn't recognize the town. So they sent Jeff Mack uh, an atlas, and he rewrote the song to, uh, to fit North America. And so the song has towns from both the United States and Canada and some from uh, Central America and South America. And Hank Snow had a huge hit with this song. And uh, this song has been recorded so many times and rewritten with towns from different areas. There's one from Europe and one from Western Australia and there's one from Nova Scotia and there's, I'm sure there's many others. So in that spirit, I changed a couple, couple towns. I put in four or five more Canadian towns in there, but it's still basically the same song. Usually I know the lyrics to my songs, but I, I never really sang this song before and I can't, I can't memorize all these, all these towns. So I'm gonna, you're gonna watch me reading these lyrics. I was toting my pack along the dusty Winnemucca road When along came a semi in a high-end canvas-covered load If you're going to Winnemucca, Mac, with me you can ride So I climbed into the cabin and then I settled down inside He asked me if I'd seen a road with so much dust and sand And I said, listen, I've traveled every road in this here land well, I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere Across the deserts, bare man, I breathe that mountain air Travel up the Michelle, man, I've been everywhere Where have I been? Let's see I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, and Jersey, Arizona, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma, Tampa, Panama, Ottawa, Lavaloma, Bangalore, come on, Salvador, Amarillo, Tocqueville, Barracola, Hampanella, Havanilla, I've been everywhere, man I've been everywhere, across the deserts of bear, man, I breathe that mountain air, travel I've done no share, man, I've been everywhere, ah yeah, Boston, Creston, Nelson, Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texas, Canada, Monterey, Federal, Santa Fe, Tallahassee, Glen Rock, Black Rock, Little Rock, Oscarusa, Tennessee, Hennessy, Chicopee, Spear Lake, Grand Lake, Meadow Lake, Candle Lake, repeat, say, I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere, Across the deserts, bear man, I breathe that mountain air. Travel up the Michelle, man, I've been everywhere. Louisville, Nashville, Knoxville, Ombabika, Shefferville, Bushville, Packville, Costa Rica, Pittsville, Springfield, Bakersfield, Shreveport, Hackensack, Cadillac, Fond du Lac, Denver, Idaho, Jellico, Nova Scotia, Dalmatina, Pasadena, Catalina, see what I mean, fella. I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere. Across the deserts, bear man, I breathe that mountain air. Travel up the Marshall, man, I breathe everywhere. Oh yeah. Here we go. Pittsburgh, Parkersburg, Gravelburg, Colorado, Ellensburg, Rexburg, Vicksburg, El Dorado, Larry Moore, Atmore, Havistrow, Chattanooga, Chaska, Nebraska, Alaska, on the Lake of Baraboo, Waterloo, Kalamazoo, Kansas City, Sioux City, Cedar City, Dodge City, what a pity. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Across the deserts, bear man, I breathe that mountain air. Travel up the mushy man, and there ain't no place I've never been, cause I've been everywhere. I, sometimes I can get that note. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, next soon we're going to do is, I forget, oh yes, the Rock on in Line. The Rock Island Line was a song that first appeared in 1929. It was written by employees of the Rock Island and Pacific Railroad uh, out of uh, one of their main depots down in Little Rock, Arkansas. And by 1934, the, uh, the song had moved over to the Arkansas prison farm and it had, it had evolved and had different lyrics and was now being sung by uh, the black chain gang prisoners. And uh, famous blues, uh, the famous blues player Lid Belly uh, came and heard the song and recorded it. Uh, his own version of it, and actually uh, copyrighted the words and music for himself. Um, did okay with it. And then in 1955, a guy named Lonnie Donegan from uh, Britain uh, recorded the song uh, and started his started a career for him, actually, in the, it was called the Skiffle Movement back in those days. And uh, he changed the song slightly by speeding up some of the lat latter part of the songs, of the song, sorry. And then uh, Johnny Cash, he uh, did the song in the 60s and changed some of the lyrics and but kept the same feel as, as Donegan. Uh, I'm gonna do the basically the Johnny Cash version, although it's not quite.
Now this is the story of the Rock Island Line. Now the Rock Island Line is a railway line that runs all the way from New Orleans to Chicago. Of course from Chicago you can always guess the Sioux Line take you to Moose Jaw. And we all know that's where it's all really happening. Of course down in New Orleans they got a toll gate. And all the trains have to stop at that toll gate. Now depending what you have on board, you may not have to be the man no toll. Well, the engineer pulled up to the toll booth. The man in the toll booth says, what you got on board? The engineer says, I got livestock, I got livestock. I got cows, I got pigs, I got sheep, I got mules, I got all livestock. Well, the man in the booth says, you're okay, Mr. Engineer. You go right on through. You don't have to pay no toll, no toll at all. Engineer, puts on a little bit of steam, a little bit of speed. Get them eight wheelers rolling. Gets down the road a little ways, looks back at the man, and he says, Well, I fooled you, I fooled you. I got pig eye, I got pig eye, I got all pig eye. Well, the rocket and line is a mighty good road. Rocket and line is a road to ride. The rocket and line is a mighty good road. And if you ride, you gotta ride it like the mine and get your ticket at the station for the rocket and line. Well, it's cloudy in the west and a little like rain. Round the curve come a faster train. Northbound train and a southbound track. It's all right leaving, but it won't be back. Well, the rocket and line is a mighty good road. Rocket and line is the road to ride. Rocket and line is a mighty good road. And if you ride, you gotta ride it like the mine and get your ticket at the station for the rocket and line. Well, the engineer said before we died, two more drinks that he'd like to try. Conductor asked him what could they be? A hot cup of coffee and a cold glass of tea. Well, the rocket line is a mighty good road. Rocket and line is the road to ride. Well, the rocket and line is a mighty good road. And if you ride, you gotta ride it like a mine and get your dick at that station for the rocket and line. Well, I may be right and I may be wrong, but I'll bid you miss me when I'm gone. Well, the rocket and line is a mighty good road. Rocket and line is a road to ride. Rocket and line is a mighty good road. And if you ride, you gotta ride it like you find a kitchen ticket at the station for the rocket and line. Yeah, the rocket and line is a mighty good road. Rocket and line is the road to ride. Rocket and line is a mighty good road. And if you ride, you gotta ride it like you find a kitchen ticket at the station for the rocket and line. I'll get your ticket at the station for the rocket and line. All right, the last song I want to sing is a song that was written by a fellow named Leroy Van Dyke. He had help from uh, his friend called Buddy Black. And uh, Leroy Van Dyke was an auctioneer, and there was auctioneering in his family. And he was in the Korean War, and while they were there, him and his uh, other Korean War buddy, Buddy Black, wrote this song. They, had a, they wrote another one or two that uh, became hits, but uh, when he got out of the Army, Leroy Van Dyke entered this song into a song contest, and I don't know if he won the contest, but he ended up getting him a, a, a recording contract. And in 1956, he recorded this song, The Auctioneer. And, uh, uh, and it sold something like two and a half million copies in 56 and 57, which I think was pretty extraordinary back then. Anyways, this is the song. Saw who never listened to his ma when she told him that he should go to school. He'd slip away in the afternoon, take a little walk, and pretty soon you'd find him at the local auction bar. He listened very carefully, and pretty soon he began to see how the auction ever talk so rapidly. He said, Oh my, it's do or die. I gotta learn that auction, I gotta make my mark and be an auction. And if I've got a bit of thirty dollar thirty, will you give me thirty? Make a thirty minute on a thirty dollar who give me thirty? Who will make a thirty dollar bit? Thirty dollar bit and out thirty five, will you give me thirty five to make a thirty five a bit of thirty five? Who will be that? A thirty five dollar bit. As time went on, he did his best. I could see he did just tried calling Vince both night and day. He'd find him out there behind the barn just a working up an awful storm as he tried to imitate the auction. 
that his dad's his son we just can't stand to have a mediocre man selling things at auction is an all good name I'll send you off to auction school and then you'll be nobody's fool you can dig your place amongst the best a little bit Thirty five dollar bit and I forty dollar forty when you give me forty make a forty minute dollar forty dollar who give me forty who will make a forty dollar bit forty dollar bit and I forty five when you give me forty five to make a forty five dollar bit and forty five who bit it out forty five dollar bit now from this boy who went to school this new man who played the pool he came back home a full fence auctioneer and the people came from miles around just to hear him make that rhythmic sound that filled the hearts with such a happy cheer. His fame spread up from show to show He had all he could do and more Had to buy a plane to get around Now he's the dog of all the land Come on and give that man a hand Cause he's the best of all the auction deals Forty-five dollar bid enough Fifty dollar fifty Will he give me fifty? Make it fifty bid another Fifty dollar who'll give me fifty? Who'll make a fifty dollar bid? Fifty dollar bid enough Fifty-five will he give me fifty five to make it fifty five bid that hot for a fifty dollar bid. Yes, I did. I sold that hot for a fifty dollar bid. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you like the tunes. If you if you do like it, please share it. Maybe there's somebody in some senior home somewhere or other folks who might like to hear the songs. Please do. And if you like uh, if you like the song, please press like. So like and share. And we'll see you again. And I really appreciate all your comments. Uh, take care. <laughs>